Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be going over the Bell Solutions API submission form for TradingView and Alpaca. What this does is it allows you to send buy sell requests via TradingView. Uh, Bell Solutions then interprets it and then sends it to Alpaca. And I'll show you what you need to get started. First thing you're going to need is a Alpaca account. This is free. You just need to get uh, approved um, for Alpaca. TradingView requires a $15 a month license for the low tier. However, they do offer uh, additional tiers, but it goes up in price. And for Bell Solutions, the API submission form requires a license, which is currently $5 a month. Getting started, we're going to want to obtain um, the API keys from Alpaca. Uh, to do so, you can click View Keys. And then from here, you can uh, regenerate keys. So this is what I'm going to do. And then from here, I have my keys that I'm going to use to enter into the Bell Solutions trading API. Um, from here, since these are going to be uh, paper trading accounts, I just want to make sure I enter it in the um, paper trading area. So this would be the public key. So this is live trading. We're not going to do that. So we're going to go to paper trading public key. We'll post that in. That's going to be the short one. We're going to go back. We're going to grab the secret key. Paste that in the paper trading uh, private key area. And then from here, since we're not going to be utilizing the uh, live trading, we can enter some text in here. And then from there, we can enter our uh, Bell Solutions license key. So I'm going to grab one of those here. Just one second. I'll paste that in. I'm going to hit submit. And then from here, we have our webhook URL and we have our information to paste into uh, uh, Trading View. All right, so for the webhook URL, we're going to copy this. And what we'll do is, since I have a couple of these already active, I'm going to create a new one on uh, what I believe is uh, Tesla. So what I will do is I'll create the alert. For this instance, I'm going to use the MACD long strategy. And then this is where we're going to enter our information. If you don't see the webhook uh, field, you're going to click here. You're then going to paste the webhook URL. It's already entered for me because I used it previously. Uh, then we're going to grab our webhook information. And then we're just going to control A, control V. And we have all that entered there. Um, with this, we're just going to hit create. And then there we have our alert. So whenever um, the MACD uh, long strategy uh, sends us an alert, it will make a trade based off that information. And that is pretty much all there is. Um, once the trades are made, you'll start to see them come into uh, Alpaca. Thank you for your time.